And welcome to another video here. We are going to be pulling the largest uh, BrickLink order I've ever received in my store. And it's all around me is the store here where everything is stored. Besides some parts on the table there that we have to get uh, uploaded that were here. And, uh, oh, oh, the glasses. Yeah, I have to wear these to replicate the sun because I never leave this dark basement. And then we're going to fill my face shield I used to use when this pandemic started with Lego. So finally, I was going to keep it forever as a reminder of everything, but we'll get, we'll fill it up and we'll get rid of it. So let's check it out. All right. The U.S. General is ready. I threw another bin in here. I'm going to grab some plastic bags as well for the sides as I get bigger parts. Uh, but here, is, here are the numbers. 272 unique items and 4,030 lots. It was north of $600. So, um, that one is in the wrong drawer. Eight one. Oh, that one doesn't actually have a number. I thought that was the drawer number 812. And I'm like, I don't have that many drawers here. Uh, how many do we have? Well, we have it numbered up to this number now. Uh, but we only have parts in the big drawers. It's kind of going down here, down to there. And in the small drawers are up to like 3,307. These are all the new parts. The used parts are in a different section I'll show later over that way. So this one, if they don't have a number, um, we're going to start the timer 625. Got to remember that, see how long it takes me to pull this. And these ones would be right here somewhere. There it is. This is something that there's not very many in here. These are really old parts of my store. For like one of the first things I ever used to put parts in. So that'll at some point be empty and I won't use it anymore. I'll number it at that point. So use parts go in the yellow down here. And then this next couple things are in sticker book which is right here i just put it as it as the number one at the beginning so it comes up first in an order so i can kind of know where i'm going so they had two on page number four which are what are they two of these i forget what set these are from that's good and then number six there's nine of them they want. All nine sticker sheets of... Um, it looks like that one. Oh, it's probably to that same set. Oh yeah, it's from the Frozen 2 set now. Both of them are, I believe. So, should be all nine of those. I'll count them here in a moment. And, and then we put this away. Where it lies. Right there. And then it goes to... Uh, we moved it a little. Number 18 has 20, which goes back to the beginning of our wall. And I'll count those out and we'll check back in on some cool parts later. All right, I decided to change my setup back. <laughs> I can just grab that other tray, move the full one down, grab the other one when it's ready, because I like to count on here. All right, here's the plastic bags I was talking about. I'll set up here for bigger stuff. This is the first one with 52 parts in it. So I only put like like parts in here with it. Uh, most likely like tiles, bigger tiles um, as I get them. And these are just for bigger things as I get them or larger quantity. These trays are nice uh, to count on and then they're easily, can easily pour them in. You can get them at Harbor Freight. They have it, it says easy, easy sorter. They do sell them on Amazon, but they're just more because they got to pay shipping and stuff. There's the info. All right, so far it's mostly small stuff. We've got our first bigger part that I will use the bag for. All right, we're making the turn. It ends at 1342 down there. We just pulled, wait, I'm sorry. I have to pull the last one, that's what I was gonna do. So we, oh, all 19 of those. So we'll just throw those on there and count them in a moment. And then, we go to 1352, which is just uh, across the carpet here. And it goes to there. Got some of those stickers. Here is uh, $46 uh, worth of the order in 23 parts. One hour in. Doesn't look like much here, but there's more. 
I've been piling things up over here as the bags get full. So, see how much longer it takes. Well, they just cleared out drawer 24, 25 there, and then the next one. Oh, they missed that. I was hoping they'd take some of those. Darn it. All right, on our last part on this part of the wall, it would end down there and then start back up here, but I don't have enough parts yet. To get that far, so I gotta get 30 of these. And then the next one is in drawer E, which from there, it should come down to these, which I want to renumber to something else eventually. So pull that out. And we'll get both of these parts and move on. Gotta pull it through the aisle, get it out of here. It's not how I envisioned it working, but from here, you go down there, and then to the used parts are right here. We'll do a clip of that once I get the rest of these. All right, we only had two parts in those drawers. We had these two tiles as well, along with those. And now we have some in my shoe boxes. Looks like there's uh, one, two, three, four, five parts in shoe boxes, which are over here. The new ones are here, the used ones are up there. So, gotta get number four here. All right, so now all the new parts are pulled, no more. So I'm gonna go ahead and bag all this up, get it out of the way, and uh, get it into my old face shield, as I uh, stated before. And then, so this one I'll just kinda, cause I already have one used part, that's the very first part, cause it wasn't numbered, so it was at the beginning. So then we go to this one which has a stickered piece just like the other one I have two of them apparently there's one and they're both here it's always good when the parts are where they're supposed to be in the right number so the use starts kind of you know this wall to stiff down here because there's a window there these are all used parts with the U number and I used to use this for storage of my own stuff and I changed it over to used as a grew. Um, these are, this is just stuff I have to get for sale still. And then once it gets down to there, I may very well put things down here, like bins like that for more used. This is just all storage right now. And then it will come to here. I can fit exactly, um, I think it's nine. No. Two, four, six, six, six or eight of these. I'm gonna put these kind with the big drawer and the small drawer, Acro Mills, because they'll only fit three. Can fit here. These, this type, tough store from Menards, but only two of those. By the the width of them are different, but they'll fit perfectly. Two, I think it's four rows, maybe eight, maybe three. And I'm gonna have a shipping station underneath. All right, all the new parts bagged up. So time check. I've been. Messing around Instagram for a few minutes here. 755. See if I can give you a feel on how fast this used stuff goes. Uh, so 59. We're looking for a tiny coin. There it is. 64 is seven of these. So I have to dump the drawer out. Move that coin out of there. One, two, three, four, five. Six. These are the old dark gray little studs. And then I drop one under the thing. There we go. And then I have this tray. Drop the drawer, the used drawer back in. Parts don't get too jangled around. As far as I know. One part there. Sit up, there's more in the same drawer. One of those. 68. Should have did like a one minute timer. How many lots can I pull in one minute out of these used drawers? There's one there. 77 is one. A uh, sticky piece. This is Oct. Oh. It's not yet yeah, stickered. Octane Racing. Is that focus? I have no idea. 78. Focus on for one of those. 89 is a backpack. Old Arctic backpack. And then 91 is two ornamental fish statues. This one I'm not 
not sure what they're from. There they are. One of five is one old black spaceman helmet. Is that right? 105. 105. I just can't see it in here. It's, it may not even be in here. So that's the thing about putting numbers in drawers. Is it in there? I just better dump it out. It is not in there. So I will have to go get one. I have a ton of those at my desk. And then we'll just keep going. One, one more part. 113. It's a big drawer, so it's kind of hard to reach around <laughs> behind the cart when it's at the very bottom. One of those. It's a nice, nice part there. So chances are I either put the wrong number in because it certainly is not in 105, and I looked in 104, and that's in there. So I'm gonna check my desk. It's a Thick chin strap without visor dimples. So, come over here. Let's see if I have one. That has a visor dimple. That has a visor dimple. This has it as well. I'm going to throw one of these in and let them know. Chances are they just wanted the black helmet. I just scrolled down and realized I was at the end. We got four more parts. 5.30 is one. One red little plume. I just picked these up last week. 5.31 is one. This is the, yeah, the small white ones. 5.33 is two. So yeah, I like mixing the same parts, different colors, because it's pretty easy to see them. I don't like having a lot of the same colors in a drawer because that uh, can be troublesome. And then UC001, 15 of these over here. This is, this, I use these at the beginning of my store as well. Some of the first cases I've ever used. So, um, I don't see them. It must be in another section we'll find. Okay, so the second mistake in the order, I, I can easily change that, but they were in case number two. I was like, um, there's an empty spot in that one. Did I sell them out and somehow I still have them in there? So, uh, one, two, three, four. Ten, there's ten. It's not uncommon to have mistakes in inventory. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, when you have... Uh, and you're, I, I almost have 12,000 different items in my store. I'd say one out of every 20 orders has oops, some sort of issue that takes a minute or two. Um, but most of the time I can correct it. I have replacements somewhere down here. It's just so much. This is very heavy. One-handed. Alright, here's all the used parts. That was a chore. So eight. 12, so less than two hours to pull 272 lots, 4,030 items. So bag this up and get an Instagram picture going. There's one more thing that they asked for. As this is somebody that I know personally, and this order actually would be hand delivered to them. On Saturday, in Green Bay, Wisconsin at the mall, Bay Park Square Mall, they wanted this uh, limited edition R2-D2 UCS poster. So I was given this as a gift, so I said, I'll throw it in your order for placing such a nice order. And it's awesome. Awesome order. 